Guys, NBC5 News has been teaming up with Asante to bring you better health. This week, Beth Coker and I sat down to discuss wilderness medicine. It's time again for Better Health, and I'm here with health expert Beth Coker with Asante. Thanks for being here. And we have Dr. Yeki. You are with Wilderness Medicine. So providing vital emergency care in remote situations or the back country, if you would, is a real emerging field of medicine. What kind of training is involved with wilderness medicine? It's a really fun field, per se. I mean, we all love being out in the wilderness and getting out there. And wilderness medicine, first of all, is really def commonly defined as applying care when more definitive modern care is at least an hour away. Sometimes this could even be in an urban setting. Hmm. So we Especially see an increase in this as people are participating in the extreme sport more and more? Definitely with the extreme sport movement. Personally, I'm more with the not extreme, just getting everybody out into nature is what I love. And the training's really geared at getting people the skills so they can assess and manage mm -hmm. pretty much any situation. Granted, most situations are pretty simple, fortunately, mm -hmm. but sometimes there are those severe situations where it seems like almost nothing could be done. But sometimes just having those skills to apply the basic wilderness first aid knowledge could save somebody's life. So what are some of the common injuries you've seen in wilderness care? Across the board, the most common ones are just simple cuts, bruises, abrasions, mm -hmm. certainly heat and cold injuries in extreme weather situations. Um, Dehydration is a big one. And then when you get into especially the extreme sports, certainly much more specific injuries, like rock climbers have a lot of finger injuries. Mm -hmm. Mountain climbers tend to get a lot of altitude related illnesses, whereas divers, of course, it's more marine type mm -hmm. trauma. And long distance events, which are very popular, we're getting into a lot of electrolyte imbalances, dehydration and heat injuries. Certainly a lot of muscle injuries with that too. So what are some things people can do themselves to avoid these kind of injuries in a wilderness setting? Always being prepared. Certainly safety and preparation are always the key. Know your limits, know where you're going, know the weather. Always have some mm. basic elements along with you. And, Certainly the biggest one there is plenty of water or some type of water treatment, depending how long you are going out for. Those are great tips. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. We'll be right back.